Hey guys, Anthony here for D News at the Marine Mammal Center in Sausalito, California. I have Sean Johnson with me. He's the Director of Veterinary Science here. We came here today because there is kind of some weird, distressing stuff going on with California sea lions right now. What is happening? Yeah, as you've probably seen in the news, there's been a huge um, amount of stranded California little sea lion pups this season. It's more than six times the normal number of animals stranding along the California coast. We have about 60, 70 of them here, but most of them are down in Southern California. So they're, all, they're about 10 months old now. They're just being weaned by their, by their mother out on the Channel Islands. All the California sea lions are born out there. They're um, making their way out in the ocean and they're obviously not finding the food they need and they're showing up on the beaches with people are sunbathing and walking their dogs and, and uh, they're really emaciated, so really skinny and dehydrated. They're just hypoglycemic and they're, they're just on death's door by the time we get them. It looks like it's a primarily a, a food deficiency, but we're looking at infectious diseases and, and we're also looking at them, trying to go out and look at the mothers and figure yeah. out why these pups were weaned at not at smaller than normal size and, and why they weren't able to compete and find fish on their own. So from what I understand, something happening to these sea mammals could be an indicator of a larger problem in our environment, something that could come back to us, is that correct? These marine mammals that strand on the beach are, are like canaries in the coal mine. They're, they're the top predators in the ocean and, and when they're not healthy, you know that, that there's, uh, there's something wrong in the ocean. When you guys get these sea lions in, uh, what do you do? How do you help them out? The first thing we do is we try to get them rehydrated because they're so dehydrated. So we tube feed them electrolytes and then once they're a little bit stronger we tube feed them fish gruel because they're so weak and they, they are, they're too weak to eat fish on their own. And once they get some more energy, um, then we uh, start feeding them whole herring. How long are they here with you before they get released again? We're expecting most of the little sea lions to be here about four to six weeks to get them back up to health and to a weight that we feel comfortable that when we release them back out in the ocean that they'll be able to have enough body stores to find the fish and, and start feeding on their own. But you guys don't just specialize in sea lions. You have a whole range of sea mammals that you take care of here. We primarily care for um, sea lions, harbor seals, and elephant seals here at the Marine Mammal Center. The unusual part about this year is that the sea lions are here in the spring. Most of these little sea lion pups should be out at the Channel Islands. Um, but this year, they've come early in April, and usually we don't see a whole bunch of sea lions until the fall. If people want to, uh, to help you guys out in any way, whether they're, whether they're local or they're just watching online, how can they help you guys? Well, if, if people are local and they'd like to volunteer and help take care of these animals, we have a process that they can become a volunteer here. And our facility is open to the public, so if you'd like to see these little sea lions and the other animals we're taking care of, you can come by and, and visit us here in Sausalito. Um, but the most important thing is these animals eat a lot of fish. So we have a campaign on our website right now. It's called a dollar pound campaign. And for every dollar that is donated, we can buy a pound of herring. So there you go. If you guys are looking for something to help out with this Earth Day, uh, this is a great cause. So head to the site, get involved, and be sure to subscribe here for more D News. Thanks, Sean. Thank you, Anthony.